Uh, so this puts us, Frost and Pyro, who is the overall seed, placed second last tournament. Uh, looks, he's looking to take the entire thing just straight up. But Red Shell Meerkat Ooh. is all, came back, beat Dot, which is a very, very good win. And he, you know, he's pushed his way through. This is definitely going to be interesting. And it can go either way. Very much looking forward, forward to it. All right. You ready? I am ready as much uh, as what we are right now. Uh, let's get it. Cool. We will be beginning. You can see it, right? Yeah, I can see it. I can cool. see it. Cool. So we will be beginning on Jules Vale. With Frost and Maple Pyro. and... Maple and Rano. Yeah. All right. Ooh, this will be interesting to watch a, a maple set for once, because uh, if we if I, we're gonna compare like our regions for a bit here, I it's hard to see a very like active main uh, maple. Oh, course. yeah, so especially be interesting. Yeah, in Asia, because everyone's so spread around, and maple's such a very good character offline. Yeah. I, at least in my opinion, I think it's it's difficult for there to be a consistent maple player. Uh, well, you know, here in Australia, we have a couple. We've got, we've got Osu, we've got Frost and Pyro, we've got Melotech sometimes, Barney. But um, Rano, on the other hand, isn't there a fair amount of Rano representation up there? Uh, I believe uh, just because we have KN, we we automatically have one, which is a <laughs> random game for us. Uh, but other than that, not the anything that top uh, come out the top of my head. Well done by yeah, we'll Red Shell. Yeah, we'll see right now. Uh, the up air took out uh, Maple. Yeah, Red Shell oh, taking shit. the first stock, but Frost and Pyro <laughs> answering right back. Yeah, the, the dash fair, the seemingly uh, what every like uh, uh, a Maple 101. <laughs> <laughs> Tether fair, good move. Yeah. So we do see Frost here putting down Lily. It's often I would like to see Red Shell. Go and at least try and parry it, because try to parry it, yeah. Yeah, Frost it is getting immediately disables it. Frost is getting a fair amount of mileage off of this, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. parrying it just puts it out of commission for so long. You're um, you've got your invincibility. Ooh, nice wrap, Ooh, taking nice it with the up smash. Wrap. Yeah, it reaches so far too. Holy shit! Very, very strong. All right, still keep going from that uh, initial kill. Keep pushing that advantage. Yeah, Red needs to Red needs to get some damage in because he's a full stock behind. Very, still very doable, especially in a game like Rivals where it's very easy to just take a full stock just like that. And he's yeah. bringing it back with full with full poison stacks on the on Frost. Yeah, I, if he gets if he can get the tongue in for all that attempt, he may. Oh, ooh. all the poisons are gone. All the poison <laughs> is gone now. <laughs> Good, com good combo, right. both getting damage on. And so that puts... Frost will be at kill percent here. I, I assume yes. Red Shell will be aiming for... A da Ooh, or just a random F smash to take the full thing. Yeah. Great offline, great online, especially as we're not playing on rollback for this tournament. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's all the way. All right. Mm. I'm going to keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this, will not, this will not fly in rollback. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a that's a rough. Uh, Red getting is Red getting parried there for the tongue. Yeah. yeah. And take Frost um, takes it with the up smash. Yeah. Unfortunately, landed on the platform there, uh, but there was nowhere to go but there. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would have loved Maple to see. I would have loved to see Red Shell play a bit more with the tongue, but um, tongue to recover. Instead, of opting to go with the. Uh, Raw up which you know can work, and I he might have been trying to edge cancel it, which would have been mm. very nice to see happen. Very unfortunate for him, but well done for, well done for Frost and Pyro. And well so done, our well done, Frost. our second stage will be Rock Wall. Ooh, Rock Wall. All and right. this will this is Red Shell's pick. So, okay. what do you think of this for Rano? I think, uh, right, for Rano, this has been really, uh, from my experience, has been a very advantageous uh, stage for Rano. Just because, like, the amount of funny, like, tongue-boosting movement that he can do, I think he can uh, do a, a lot of cool setups out of this stage. Mm. Also, even if you do bubble, uh, uh, with, if you get tongue and bubble, with the amount of platforms here, he sets up for uh, Rano's usual... Uh, 
grounded normals instead of only using aerials. So it, it could work out well for uh, red. Mm. And of course, the very, very close blast zones do make it nice yeah. for being able to yeah. kill with back air. Or Every, Everybody is a lightweight character. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a lightweight except for the lightweights who become featherweights. The up, good up smash though, almost taking it. Red getting tripped yeah, up yeah. by the Lily yet again. That's a good Lily juggle, almost hits the up smash. Almost hits. Yeah. Oh, good parry. Oh, punish, and misses and of the Lily. The lightweight. Misses the DI into Lily, which yeah. is very unfortunate. It just would have saved him. But F smash, Frost being ready and reacting to it with the proper DI. Let's see. Is it, is it gonna. Oh, the Featherweight is still living somehow. <laughs> Perfect DI. Very strong this yeah, game. Got, Ooh, good! Got, like, good I. read. Ooh, the rap. Oh, okay. I don't, I'm not so sure about that up smash charge. And there, I would have loved to yeah. see an up smash instead of an F smash there. Yeah. The one time you needed that up, up smash, he needed it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but that's a good Dacus. Yeah, good Dacus, good Dacus. So, you know, red, Red's not too far behind. Although yeah, this is this is still doable. Same stock, even though they're like hundred percent away. Very, very doable, especially if the full poison stacks come through. Yeah. Ooh, uh, but that's a uh, good did, drift didn't from Frost. To, yeah, didn't manage to get anything out of it. All right, full stack Avoids poison. Avoids the bubble. Oh. It's Ooh, gone now again. just misses the fair. It, it's amazing how Frost managed to even with a full stack of bubble just oh, immediately takes it away. Oh, that was an excellent wait. Oh, that's so good. All right. <laughs> and so now Red's a full stock behind. This is yeah. Frost's game to lose here. And with a combo like that, making it even more so. Red, oh, I, I, the tongues are definitely working out for him, but he keeps getting punished. Um, he keeps getting punished, and like the, the good drift from Frost uh, yeah. to not get even comboed, even when getting bubbled. Oh. The awareness for this matchup is actually really good. Oh, <laughs> try, try to like clash it with the up B. Oh, okay, gets the one fair. But, you know, I Red's got a long way to go, and especially with a wrap like that, Frost will take game two on Rockwall. Now this is very, this has got to be, if you're Red Shell here, you're very nervous currently. Because you're playing, yeah. you're playing against, you know, second place last uh, qualifier, and now top seed. And now you're down two games. It, it it must it the mental strain that comes into a set like this. I would be so nervous. I don't know if I would be able to play it, but we can see here uh, ethereal gates. Ethereal gates. Will Red Shell be able to bring it back? We'll see. We'll see. All right. Current. Starts off really good right now. Full poison stacks. Very even game. Good tongue. And starting to get oh, the punish oh, oh, off. Start, start getting the the bubble combo, which is very good. Oh, that DI just makes it back. Oh, uh, didn't manage to cover that uh, recovery. Uh, that's okay right now. Still have the percent lead. Ooh, oh, we, that's an excellent way. He didn't parry. He did it later. Little parry. All right, you know maybe maybe Red's you know taking a breath, looking through. Although with that parry. I'd love to see Red at least take a game here, especially considering how much of the how much of uh, favor is generally in Frost's favor. Ugh, how much it's in Frost's favor here. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, that's a interesting F smash there, and the dare to yeah. fair, very okay. very solid ma maple combo. Just makes it back. Goes for the up oh, B. Dave. Oh, yeah, didn't cover it. Oh, the, oh, the you have the so much time there when you parry the tongue. That yeah. was definitely a mistake coming out of Frost. A lot of uh, mesh punish Ooh. on that few minutes of gameplay, but managed to close out this top. Very, very good juggle. Ooh, but Red Shell <laughs> <Big> answer <also. laughs> <laughs> answering back. Frost maybe not respecting Red as much as as much as he should have, especially yeah. now that Red's coming through with his combo. Drops it, but. Brings it back up immediately. Now this Price is song again in reach. Yeah. Right. Frost going through. Nair, Nair chains don't connect. <laughs> yeah, Frost. He's.
definitely hanging a lot more around Lily, which I don't hate. Yeah, it's it's sometimes so really okay to play lame. Don't let oh. anybody discourage you. <laughs> Good back air there, stuffing out the F smash. We'll get in the tongue again. I I would have loved right. to see him just run up and parry that Lily there. Yeah, yeah. Get, give it, give yourself invincibility for the smash attack. And now you've gotten parried. Oh. Now you're wrapped. You got parried. Wrapped again. Oh, oh just oh, misses. All right, the up airs. Is he gonna oh. cover that one? Nope, managed to land. Coming back. Oh, and oh the good smash. needles. Nice. Good needles, good setup. Locking him in place. And all of a sudden, you know, Frost is Frost is down here for what I think is the first time this set. Yeah. Another tongue, and Red's lead is just growing. Come on. Frost needs to finish off the kill here soon. Oh, that's a oh, questionable no F smash, that's especially when that happens. Read. Yeah. Yeah. No, the um, Frost use of Lily is so good here. Always mm -hmm. just tossing Red into there and punishing him for a mistake with a wrap. Good tongue again. Good tongue again. Gets the one hit. Thanks, time. Good. Red Shell is a bit scared of this Lily, which I, I would love to see. As I've said. If he just parries this, this is a very different game. Yeah. But it, a, a, as I'm saying, he's still in the lead. But another rap. Oh, oh another no! Rap. Oh, and it kills. That's rough di. That w that was very rough di. That was still like early percent. Well. And Frost will take it three zero. Frost will take it and will now I think sit in grand finals. Winners grand finals. Now yeah. this is I mean, Frost was definitely the favorite here, but. I did love to see how, you know, Red Shell definitely put up a good fight. It was almost brought it back in game three. Just needed to brush up on a couple things. Yeah, definitely picked it up uh, in game three there. That was like a really competitive set on that one. That was way better, especially once he started to parry Lily. And just, it gave him so much space compared to how Frost was generally just locking down the stage and making it so difficult for anything to happen.